the big news is that around a very nearby cold small star, we found seven rocky Earth-sized planets, all of which could potentially have liquid water. I mean, this is a fantastic discovery. It's an excellent discovery because you know, we haven't seen a system of seven planets before that are rocky, that could potentially have liquid water. That's all very exciting. And then the fact is that we can study this even further to really understand their atmospheres is, is amazing. And on top of it, you know, you have to say, okay, well, TRAPPIST is one system. Maybe we just got lucky, and maybe we did. But this is 15% of all the stars in the universe are these ultra-cool dwarfs. If you were on one of these planets, you would see the, some of the other planets in the system, and they would be about the size of our full moon. So imagine what the skies in this place would be like. I mean, it just really kind of boggles my imagination. This discovery is kind of like hitting the jackpot, um, but the fact of the matter is, is there could be many more systems just like this one. Um, these planets are around uh, a small sort of red dwarf stars, which are the most numerous type of stars in our galaxy. So if we just keep looking around, I'm sure that we'll start to find more and more systems like this. For me, it's mind-blowing. Like, the first time I saw the, the paper and I saw what the system had in it, I just was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> and then I looked at the data myself, I'm like, yep, there they all are. It's just, I, I would have never predicted this. It's beyond, you know, anything I could have ever dreamt of. In our own solar system, we have Earth, which is our only example of a planet that, where life exists and is in, in what we call the habitable zone or the Goldilocks zone. And this system, um, they, basically three of these planets are in the habitable zone. So, you know, there's this awesome chance where you're going to have three planets that could potentially support liquid water on their surfaces. I felt super excited. Uh, Amazed by the existence, the very existence of this system was was a kind of of yeah of, sh of shock uh, because I couldn't imagine so many Earth-sized planets within uh, or nearby the habitable zone of a, of a star, and uh, the questions raised by the discovery uh, also were uh, really uh, amazing how this system formed uh, and also uh, what will we be able to learn about this system. And this is really the most exciting part of this, is that we, we will be able to study this planet in great detail and study the atmospheric composition. And it requires Spitzer and its continuous observation of the system to, uh, to reveal uh, the archit architecture of the system, to reveal there were seven Earth-sized planets uh, orbiting very close to the star. And uh, it was just uh, really an amazing time when we uh, finally we solved the puzzle thanks to the Spitzer data.